Hey guys, today we're going to be going over my biggest World War II purchase ever. Hello. But um, before we get into that, we're going to go see the other stuff that I also had got from the So same first pack. we have this very nice trench coat from 1950. Very great condition. You can, it's actually dated right on the inside there, but I'm not going to pull it out because it took me so long to set it up. Very nice. 1973 US M1 helmet. You can see it. it. Says 1971 on the inside, or 1973. Sorry, I'll put a picture of it up on screen now. Very cool. Even though it's not World War Two, I have a very nice Second World War duffel bag. I got my clothes in there, so yeah, it's nice. Then we also have United States World War II pup tent. There will be a video of me attempting to sleep in this overnight, which is probably not going to turn out that well. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But, um, yeah, it has one half and then the other half. And 1944 dated stakes and some new reproduction stakes. These are foldable things. <laughs> you know what they are, probably. But, yeah. All right. So now that you've seen the other ones, or you skipped, well, why did you skip? Because you gotta see some other stuff. We're going to be going over the biggest World War II purchase I've ever made. In three, two, one. The M1 Grand. So, yeah, we got the M1 Grand. So this is made by Donex. Made by Donex. Donex. And now it's mine. It has an original sling. It's a canvas sling. World War II. Got my trusty clip on there. So you know Donex. There are both. There are one grand. Have no room. For a clip to go in there. But I, on YouTube, I have seen some guys that have made modifications. So there are one grand from Dynex, so it can clip, so I can shoot. So basically, what that's involving is taking this entire spot out and 3D printing an entire new one, and also 3D printing in a new inside. Yeah, so we're actually going to be going over the M1 Grand made by Dynex and how it does and that does not compare it to the original, but it still is very beautiful. Also, this is my favorite thing to do. Maybe. And also, this is my favorite thing to do. Alright, so first, first we're going to be going over the buttstock, <laughs> um, but this plate on the original would open, as you can see, no open, but um, but I, I'm going to be making some modifications like you heard, and we'll make this, put an original stock on here. Maybe, and we'll make, we'll get one that opens. Then, look at the top. So you can see that there's a big orange cap on there, so people know it's not actually a real gun. And also, if you look at the gas chamber, this part is just welded on its own separate part. The bayonet mount looks very very similar. Sorry, I can't see that. It's very, very similar. You can actually mount bayonets on this one, so you probably know that, but, um, yeah. Bam. And then also, I told you about the inside, but the safety 
just one piece and you can't move it. So that sucks. But, oh well, because it's still an M1 Grand. It still is beautiful. Then the front sling mount. It's also the exact same on World War II ones. Because you could take three other M1 Grands, slide them into this. Now you can have like a little teepee of M1 Grands. Every transition I have to cock it. <laughs> but I'm also up here, you can see that the sights do not move. But yeah, trigger still functions. Of course, it doesn't shoot because if you look on the inside, there's no hole for it to lock in. Ah, uh, oh no, I gave myself grand thumb. Well, you can see that my thumb is not bleeding terribly because I did not actually give myself M M1 grand thumb. <laughs> but yeah, sure is beautiful. So I got this from a guy. He's a very nice man. And he has private military cells to me and people at the school and flea market. But um, he sold this to me for a hundred bucks. So I stayed around 300. So buying it online, having to go somewhere to pick it up. I guess I could like order it at the front, but whatever. I got it right here. Alright, well I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to be making a short film, including the M1 Grand. And good old Clippy, I don't know, I, I think Clippy is a cool name. Short series alert, if I follow through with this, there will be doing shorts on modifications. Hello. To the M1 brand. So what we'll do, so we'll talk about it. Get new chamber, not chamber, but just a new receiver. To be clear, I did not mean new chamber or receiver. I meant new thing that makes it go. Put a new back on there. And we'll evil stencil, we'll even stencil in a number right here. Probably just a random number. I'll probably do number five since I've actually seen those. Another M1 Grand's in YouTube short, or not on YouTube, but yeah. I'll probably also engrave Springfield Armory and yada 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 numbers on there. Yeah, that's it for today's video. See you in the next one. Bye.